Classical style, again, d5, as we discussed before, is a bit of an inaccuracy. Although g6 is an ingenious try. Don't think I've ever seen this, actually. Okay, let me go knight f3. I don't want to go knight c3, obviously, because then knight d5 is a normal grid fault. But I feel like this check is a little bit annoying to meet. Because bishop d7, queen d3 was happening. And here I do not feel that he gets enough compensation. For a pawn. A little bit of compensation, but not enough. This pin is not dangerous. Knight d4, I break the pin with queen d4. No problems, no problems there. e5. e5 is a good move. But I think I'm just going to take it. Just for fun, I'm just going to bring the queen to h4 here. And if he takes an f3, take with the bishop. And although my development is a little bit behind here, I don't think it's going to matter. I think I'm still a pretty sound pawn up. d5 was a very good move that he played. That has to be has to be said. Quite ingenious. Knight c6, a logical try, keeping the pieces on the board when you're material down. Okay, rook d1, I guess. Developing my pieces, bishop d2. It's all good. Rook c1. And thus, development was completed. Should I do? Okay, let me just. Once development is completed, you can create some air for your king. Now we proceed to try and exchange some pieces. In this case, in this case, the rooks. And the the bishops are usually quite well placed on on e1 or e8 in these sort of of structures. You just tuck them away, put the rooks in the center. And the bishop can be active on c3 or b4 later on. And for the moment, you just need them not to, to be in the way of your, of your other pieces. OK, let's swing the queen over. I wanted to go knight d4, but I was a little bit bothered by knight f5 there, exchanging, exchanging that nice central knight. So. Now, after queen a, a4, I want to go knight d4 next. Yeah, let's just put the knight on a good square. Bishop d7, attacking the queen. I just go queen b3. And I'm happy. Very happy. Rook d6. This feels to me to be too much on the artificial side. Gonna go queen knight e4. Obviously knight e6 was good there as well, but then he can go knight c3, bishop c3, rook e6, and please see somewhat keeping his structure intact. He can go bishop d7 here, but I don't think that would have helped because of, um, yeah, for many reasons, but mostly because of, uh, of uh, queen a3, and I think his rook is somewhat trapped. He has to go bishop, rook b6, and then bishop a5 actually traps it. So that would have put him in a world of, of hurt as well. I think his plan here is to go b4, but I got a number of number of good options. Then I think I think the simplest of them just being taking it. If queen b4, queen b4, knight b4, I got knight d6, winning a full exchange. Uh, if knight b4, I would have had knight d6, queen d6, knight e6, he has to take with the queen, then I go queen b4. Um, once again with a full exchange. And uh, here it's just um, all over it, to be fair. I win I win a knight and um, it's, um, um, yeah, it's very difficult for him. He resigned. Not a bad game by any, by any means.